Hello everyone, Liav is here. I want to introduce you the Tiny Timer Double Nichrome. As you can see, there are two different uh, Nichrome wires, and this is a two function timer. Usually, the first uh, function is for VAT, and the second one is for DT. Uh, this timer is based on my Tiny Timer. This timer, as you can see here and here, well, basically, those two are identical except that this one has a connector for a servo and this one has a connector for a single nichrome and this the software is the same here you can program this timer to work either with a, a nichrome or with a servo and uh, uh, for the servo connector you also can connect a plug for nichrome so uh, it can do both both types of uh, DT and this one only uh, the nichrome but you can solder this out and put a different one if you want well I made a, a long video instructions tutorial about this timer I just uh, I'll put the link uh, for the video in the description if you want to see more about uh, this kind of timer well as I said this timer is based on the tiny timer but it uh, works with only nichrome and two functions as you can see here I uh, changed the uh, PCB and put uh, two transistors to uh, control the power flow the current flow for each nichrome separately and uh, I'll demonstrate how it works and how you can use it well I connected the battery this is a 40 milliamps lipo battery as you can see here the weight well, let's see the weight first without the battery. Zero point zero point eight four grams, and with the battery, it's only about two grams. And this is the full system. You don't need anything else except that. And so the difference in uh, the the weight from the single. Uh, nichrome is about almost nothing <laughs> well let's go back to the double nichrome I'll connect it as you see you can see red to red and it starts focus okay first I recommend using a simple uh, toy rubbers like this which are thin and light it's better and I'll put it uh, next to the nichrome and start first I'll long press to prepare for flight and you see both LEDs are blinking when I leave it it will start one and a half seconds for the VAT and 10 seconds for the DT so let's see I'll put it and I press it against the nichrome like this and leave the button up and it continued to count for the DT I'll stretch the rubber and put it here that's it DT As you can see it's very good for a simple F1G or a P30 for example or any free flight model that you need two functions, usually the VAT, as I said. Well, how do you can you program it? So this timer was programmed as you, as I said, for one and a half second for the VAT and ten seconds for the DT. First, it's in sleep mode right now; it's not consuming a current almost at all. And if I press one time, I will wake it up. And the red blinking is the stand standby mode, like in the original tiny timer. Three quick clicks will enter it to programming mode now you can see the red uh, is fading in and fading out and uh, this is in programming mode this indicates for the DT menu and if I click once it indicates for the blue fade in and fade out this is the VAT time menu and when I short press I can uh, choose change the menu that I want to change the time so for example if I want to change the DT I'll 
choose this one, the red. Now when the red is, looks like this, I need to long press to choose it. And now it says to me that uh, it recognizes the long press, so I leave the button. Okay, now the red is always on like this. That means that we can start to program the minutes for the DT. We can program up to 15 minutes. So I'll program it for example two minutes. I'll do two presses. One, two. And now I, I want to do for example two minutes and 20 seconds. So this seconds is in the next uh, click. I'll long press. And now the blue is always on. Now every click is 10 seconds. So I'll do one, two, this is two and 20 seconds. If I continue three, four, five, and six, of course is 60. So it will return back to zero. So you see a different blink like this. That means that we are coming back to zero. This is two minutes. So two minutes and 10 seconds and 20 seconds. And when I want to choose this time, long press, and that's it. Now it programmed to two minutes and 20 seconds. So if I want to change the VAT, I need to enter to programming mode again, programming menu, three quick clicks. So now this is the DT time menu because the red is fading in fading out. I will do short click. Now this is the blue, this is the VAT or the second function, uh, the first function, I'm sorry. So I'll long press to choose it. And now the programming is almost the same. First the red one and then the blue one. Uh, for the DT menu it was minutes jumps and then 10 seconds jump. But now for the uh, first uh, first function it will jump only one seconds for the uh, red and half a second for the for the blue so you can the resolution in half a second up to 20 seconds so if i want for example two and a half seconds i will do here two clicks for two seconds one two and if i want half a second i need to move to the blue menu long press now I'm at the blue, so I'll do only one click to make it half second and long press to choose it. That's it. And now we're back in standby mode. Long press to start the flight. I will grab a rubber and show you. Well, I, we will not wait two minutes, but we only see the VAT that it is uh, only uh, only a two, uh, two and a half seconds. Well, I'll grab the rubber, stretch it and long press right now. Okay, it recognized to start the flight, leave it. One, two, that's it. And it continues to count the time until the DT. Well, this is how you operate it. Uh, there are a few other features. For example, if I started the flight accidentally on the ground like this right now and I want to come back to a uh, standby mode and don't want to wait all the time I can long press during the flight mode this is the flight mode and I leave it and now we are back in standby mode we see only the red one and another feature nice feature if I long press to start the flight yeah and now leave it the flight has started. You can see this is in the flight mode when the blue and the red is alternately. When the nichrome is working, both LEDs are turned off for about a second and then it continues. Well, it's counted the time right now. So if I want to reset the timer, I mean the time, so it will restart the flight right, right away, all I need to do is short click like here and it will start to count like I release the button in the first place. So short press and it start one, two, F and the night will work. We can see it again. If I'll take the rubber, put it here, short click. One, two, up. 
and it worked. So this nichrome is for the first function and this one is for the DT for the second function. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, to my YouTube channel and also like my Facebook page, Liavs Electronic uh, Free Flight Products. And um, that's it. If you have any comments, questions, please comment on this video or send me a, a message to my Facebook. Thank you very much for watching.